I'm Manil Kumar sharing with you a multiple choice question which you could see in many test papers. The question here is how many minimum trials are required to ensure that the probability of getting at least one six is 99 percent. Four choices are given to you. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now when we are saying at least one six, let there be n number of trials. At least one six means we are not getting six but all other numbers, right? So probability of at least one six also means that this is equals to one minus probability of not six in n number of trials, right? So this is in one trial. Now, if there are n trials, if we are talking about n trials, then the probabilities get multiplied, right? So for n trials, we could write this as 1 minus. There are 5 other numbers out of 6. And as the trials are n trials, it will be 1 minus 5 over 6 to the power of n. In this particular question, we are given the probability we need to find value of n, correct? Probability is 99%, which in decimals I can write as 0 0.99. To find the value of n, we can use logarithms, right? So we can write this as 5 over 6 to the power of n equals to 1 minus 0 0.99, which is 0 0.01. And if you take log both sides, then you get log of 5 over 6. This n comes like this. That's the property of log. Is log of 0 0.01. And the value of n is log of 0 0.01 divided by log of 5 over 6, right? So now you can use the calculator to find this answer, right? So let's use the calculator. You could use log or ln. So it's log of 0 0.01 divided by log of 5 divided by 6 bracket close equals to 25.25. So we get 25.25. Point so that will always round higher so the 26th trial will ensure that you get at least one six perfect so the option is c for you so that is how we can actually get solution of this particular question i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best